I'm Martin Aslett, IT Manager for Wellcome Genome Campus Advanced Courses and Scientific Conferences. In this video, we will learn how to install the Genome Browser Artemis on both a Windows PC and a Mac. We'll start with the Windows PC. The first thing to do is to download the software. To do this, I'll go to my web browser and search for Artemis Sanger. This leads to the top hit, which is the page at the Sanger Institute. This gives brief details of the software and also advanced, more advanced details of, of how to use Artemis. What we need to do is click on the GitHub link to download the software. GitHub is a repository for scientific software. This page contains more details of Artemis and other associated software. We need to scroll down to the software availability section of the page. Here we can download the software. As I'm on a Windows PC, I will click the Windows link and save the file. This may take a few seconds to download. Once this is done, I'll minimize my browser and go to the software on the computer. I'll now browse to my download folder on my PC and click on the Artemis Windows compressed file. You'll notice there are four jar files here, ACT, Artemis, BAMView, and DNA plotter. We're only interested in Artemis. For convenience, I will drag the Artemis file to my desktop. You can now just run this by clicking on the icon. First thing we need to do is set up our working directory. I'll leave this as the desktop. We now have the initial Artemis window. Having installed this on a Windows PC, we will now install the software on a Mac. I'll again start by browsing to Sanger Artemis and click the link. Again, go to the GitHub page and scroll down to the software av availability. This time, I will click on the Mac OS link. This is downloading and may take a while. With the download complete, I will now click on the DMG file which we have downloaded for the Mac and install this. We can either just click on the Artemis icon here, drag it to the Apps folder, or just drag it to the desktop to run it. I'll copy it to the desktop. And then I will just double click the Artemis icon to run the software. Macs often have a security issue with Artemis in that it comes from an unidentified developer. To fix this, simply go to your system preferences, click on security and privacy, and click on the open anyway button. Artemis should now open. Again, we need to set our working directory. On a Mac, this defaults to the Java folder under the Artemis app directory. I want to change this to the desktop. To do this, I'll simply browse, go to my home directory, and select the desktop. And now click on OK. And again, the Artemis window comes up. I am Martin Aslett. In this video, we have shown you how to install Artemis on both a Windows PC and a Mac. Thank you for viewing. Please leave your suggestions and questions in the comments area.